Hello everyone, welcome back to Solar Settlers. In the last game, we did our expert mode placement match with Rakthoon, and it went as well as the normal mode placement match, which is to say very well. So, I think we will play an expert mode uh, rank 25 Rakthoon game here, uh, which I, I might add would, like, put us in the top 10 if we could win, right? If we could get, like, I don't know how many people there are in the universe who have played this game. I mean, we can, like, it's hard to tell, right? You can say at least 5,000, I guess. It's kind of funny, it thinks I've only won two games because I keep playing placement matches instead, but... All right, sure. Um, the number of people who play regularly looks pretty small. But... Where's the... How do I look at the... I, I thought before I was able to see weekly... Expert weekly challenge scores, and now I can't. I don't know. Anyway, so just just getting 25 in our placement match puts in 13th. Pretty cool. Should hit the top 10 by getting 26. I'd like to do that. It seems like I'm at least a competent Rakthoon player. Hopefully I don't mess this up too much. Alright, what do I have? I have a wormhole again. I wonder if it just always gives you the card you most recently unlocked as your first draw, because this is three games I've gotten it. The two previous games, I thought, oh, well, okay, I just unlocked this card last game. Maybe it's giving it to me at the beginning. Here, I didn't. In my last game, I unlocked nothing, because it was a placement match. But they gave me a wormhole anyway. Could be a coincidence. Could be you always get your newest card. I don't know. Um... Oh my god. Spawn an exhausted person when you explore. I mean, we have to, right? When you explore anywhere. Like, it means all you have to do is just find enough oxygen to live and you're suddenly in great shape. And exploring five sectors is something we are absolutely going to do this turn. So we can, we can blow up pretty fast this way. Eight hydrogen, I don't know. We probably won't get it this turn. So definitely we want this. The powerful effect and we're going to get it. What about all this stuff? Uh, I don't think we need a wormhole right now. Like, I just can't... Well... Actually... I mean... It would make it really easy for us to explore a bunch of territory, right? Because we could just move, like, put it here. Let's say. And then just, like, go back and forth between these two squares for free and explore all three of these for zero hydrogen. Like, that seems pretty cool. This this card is worth at least three hydrogen right now. And almost certainly more. Oh, yeah, more. Because I can also hit these squares. I can get all five of these for zero hydrogen if I put down a wormhole, right? I can't believe I didn't do this last game. It just didn't occur to me that, like, oh yeah, not only does it mean you can fast travel, it means you fast travel for free. Um, so a wormhole here, I go back and forth between these two, opening this up. But then I can go back and forth between these two for free. To and from this. Whether or not you're going to your home world. I can go up here for free. And if I had enough, um... What's the word? Hello? Enough military. I could pick up these two for free as well. And if I ever got a star base, you bet I'm taking these two for free. And these two. And these two. Like, that's unbelievable. Give me this immediately. Yeah, I'm just gonna, like... I don't need to think about anything. I'm just going to open all this up. And then I'll decide what to do. Because I know I want to do this. Alright, here we go. Like, 
Isn't that incredible? The answer is yes. So this and this are the same. I could play this on either of them. This would give me some military, which is nice. But I must immediately play the Temple of Life. It's it's grotesquely great. I don't know where to put it. I'm thinking here, though. Because once I get a star base going, this will be connected into my big wormhole, which means it's reachable. Sorry. That's why I shouldn't put it here. Well, I don't know. Um, this... Oh no, this will also be reachable from my wormhole via here... No. Because moving from here to here isn't free. So if I had a star base that could take me here... Um, then I could get all the way up to here for free. And it might be kind of nice to have... a square I might want to get to be reachable. The question is... Which of these tiles do I more likely want to get to? Oh, also I have a mutation range. That's amazing. Um, I think I'm putting that on the other one of these because I can use it to make two people this turn? Okay, 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 okay. There's so much going on in this game. It's very exciting already. Um, but so, like, okay. I might conceivably want a jungle world to be easily reachable because going there gets you three oxygen, and that's like kind of cool, right? But also, this card by itself is not a world you want to need, you, you need to reach ever, right? You never need to get to this. Um, but that doesn't mean it's not desirable to make it easily reachable because. I might prefer to play a new card on top of this one rather than on top of this one in the future, maybe. In which case, if that were going to happen, I might prefer to make this easily reachable. But I think that that's not super likely. Because there are cards that let me unexplore stuff. Well, there's one. So this, this might remain viable, like, for quite a while. And at any rate, it's going to be viable, like, now. Um, I think I can just put it here. Like, nobody ever needs to go here, right? Not at the moment, anyway. Yeah. And I have, like, all this spare oxygen that I can't do anything with. I don't have enough people, and this, like, suddenly is, oh, well, you can just make loads of people. And I want to do a bunch of exploring, but it was going to be like, oh, well, I'm getting oxygen, and I don't have a way to use it. Now I do. I'll just make more people. So each exploration kind of increases my oxygen bill by one instead of decreasing it by one now, right? Because instead of gaining an oxygen, I'm gaining an oxygen and losing two oxygen. And that's fine. That's great. Because right now my like my oxygen bill is is fine. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um Where's this rock world? There's some metal. I don't think we need the metropolis right now. Why don't I just build an orbital lap? Put it right here? Make some more people? That seems good. So, now where to? I kind of, if possible, would like to leave this green area somewhat unused. I'm realizing now, this is a lot of people I'm signing up for, huh? I, I couldn't handle five more at the moment, could I? 
Good luck. Certainly not nine more. Because right now I've only got two oxygen to spare. Hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna assume that having placed this has suddenly made like. My highest priority is just getting oxygen. Because I'm getting people without even having to work for it. So let's go down here. I, I would have liked maybe to leave this unexplored so that I could draw a temple of... Oh, what is it called? You have a temple of life. Is that what this one is? Yeah. Temple of discovery is the one that re that hides all the open space tiles. The one that gives you... Maybe it's Temple of Exploration, I don't know. It gives you two cards every time you explore next to it. It might have been nice to keep this open. But we're not doing it. Um, so let's hit this. Okay. Ah, they spawn on your home world. I don't... Mm, wait, no. Oh, they spawn here! That makes sense. I thought briefly it might spawn them on the planet you explore, but the point of this is that it can only produce three people per turn. Because it gets full otherwise. Okay. That's a little more reasonable. It's not insanely busted. It seems very good. But I'm not going to be suddenly bogged down with so many people I can't handle them. Okay. Well, given that this goes off twice, I'll have seven people. Which means I would need 14 oxygen. I mean, I can handle that, right? S so... I'm thinking I should hit this up. I, mean, I don't know. I don't need any more oxygen, do I? Okay, I also really want a starbase, because then this Temple of Life would be hooked up to my wormhole network, and we could go lots of places. So I'm thinking I, I use this for three oxygen, and then I put in the mutation range, and use that effect. Maybe, maybe I, I don't use this for three oxygen. I just put in the mutation range, and I use it for two people twice. For a person twice. Then I'd have seven, I'd have nine people, and I'd get two more oxygen. But also, I have to do a lot of moving. I think I can get to 18 oxygen this turn, right? Because if I'm making two more here and two more here, then 18 is the amount I would need. And I'm getting, like, four-ish just from exploring. And also a couple from this. And maybe one here? Mm, it's a little close. Well, if we assume that I can turn every hydrogen into oxygen, then I would certainly be able to reach it by just hitting this gas world, right? There's a little to be said for preferring to defer my exploration until next turn when this will be untapped again. If I can still do productive things. Like, if I can get away with drawing a card here, that would be really nice. Oh. Also keep in mind, we can move from here to like any of these worlds for free. So if we wanted to hit this, we could.
its two-star ability is pretty nice. I could definitely handle nine people if I did that. It's going to cost me a little bit of hydrogen to get here and back. But I think that's okay. So let's let's play the mutation range, I guess. And come down here. Make it go off once, giving me a new person. Send that person back up here to help out in this area, right? I think. You make a new person as well. And now I can't use this ability because it's full, but that's okay. If I explore one more time, I need four more oxygen. Would I rather have two hydrogen or a card? Cards are really nice. But so is hydrogen. Now let's go down here, I guess. Or maybe here with the plan to check out, to finish off this gas world for the rest of my turn. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. All right, another gas world. Now I just need one more oxygen, which I can get by exploring this. Not exploring, using this to draw a card. So my ordering was wrong. Should have taken the card sooner. Oh my god! It's a defense station. That's pretty cool. Um... I want to play it this turn, but the metal is really hard to come by. I think I could have done it, but I messed it up. By sending my dude here instead of... Well, he wanted to go here to explore, right? So, I don't know. I could have gotten him up here, which I can. You know, one, two, up, no problem, right? Um, but I also need one more oxygen in order to play this and not suffocate, right? So I would kind of need to go, like, one... Two, explore, three, and then go up here. And I, I'm one hydrogen short of doing that. I mean, one thing I could consider, I think it's wrong, but I could consider, like, going up here and drawing a card as my last action. If that card gives me a way to get metal, i.e. it's like discard for metal, then I could discard that and play this this turn. If it doesn't do that, though, I've just gained one oxygen, which I'm throwing away, instead of four hydrogen, which I really want. I think I just take the hydrogen and I rue something on this turn made me... Whatever it is I did this turn that prevented me from playing the defense station was definitely a mistake. 
All right, still another outstanding turn one. Unexplore open space or draw when exploring. Well, I think we take draw when exploring. On the one hand, there's not any promising can. Oh, I should look at what it costs, right? Yeah, six six oxygen. We're gonna get in no time. So this is like free. Um, And its effect is questionable, but so is this one. And this is harder to get. I mean, I might, like... I wouldn't be at all sad to get 8 Hydrogen. There's... I'm likely to do it this turn. But this I'm, like, guaranteed to do this turn. And if it works, it'll do a lot for me. If this works... Uh, I don't even know where I would play this. I guess here, right? This space isn't doing that much. Okay, well... Like, let's figure we're getting some metal. Oh, look at that. The card is drawing what would give me metal, so I maybe could have gotten this down last turn for another card. Ouch. Still, I think I made the right decision. And maybe the hydrogen was worth more than the card anyway. I mean, I'd really like a bunch of cards. Like, this could be... I'm exploring a lot of worlds that'll be well positioned for this effect. Yeah, okay. Now, something we have to be careful of is make sure we empty, we evacuate this Temple of Life, right? Before we start exploring. I'm going to put you here, figuring we want some metal at some point. Well, I also want some cards at some point, right? Maybe I should start there. I don't know. Well, I can move freely between those two, so like I might as well just... Yeah, it doesn't matter where I evacuate to, because everything in this wormhole sector is, like, contiguous in a way, right? So just everyone get over here. So I can do my exploring without fear. Oh, I need the metal now. Right, because I'm building a defense station. So yes, do this. Right? And put the defense... I don't have any oxygen, very funny. Um, well, give me oxygen and a card. No, give me oxygen and a... Mm, can I afford that many people? With the Temple of Life... I'm like... I'm not so sure we can handle... Like... That many people this turn. But but so many amazing things appear when you like reveal these threes and fives and stuff, right? I bet we can figure it out somehow. So let's take I don't know, I like cards. Give me this oxygen and a card. That's what I'll use to to fill up the space station. Okay, this is this is great. I like this, I think. Uh just because it's somewhere to settle a person, basically. But I want to put the space station down here, I think. Ideally, I would keep open space next to green areas, jungles rather, unfilled. And this is the place that least threatens to do that. Because I might get to play the green thing that makes everything unexplored again, and also the green thing that makes you like exploring adjacent stuff. So green thing likes to be next to open space. So defense station here. And now we can go nuts on exploring this stuff. Ooh, 
Send away a person for three metal is great. I have a surplus of persons right now and a deficit of metals. Well, I don't need the metals yet, but I have lots of ways to get people and I'm not totally sure that I'm gonna come up with 20 oxygen this turn. So please go away and give me more metal. I love metal. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, that's so exciting. Because now I'm gonna have five military and I can start hitting up these fives um, when I play this. I had been considering maybe there would be some reason to discard this for the person, but no. We're gonna make something into a mining colony. I'm not sure what, These two are both, I think, reasonable candidates. I think this one's better. Like, okay, question. Is a normal rock world better than a rock, uh, than a mining colony or worse? The mining colony is more advanced and it lets you get two metal without having to put a second person there. But as it's next to a wormhole and also this temple of life, it should be basically trivial to activate the higher level ability of this, which is better than the ability of this, right? So I think we want to make sure we preserve this next to the wormhole and just dump a mining colony here. And then I'm going to just settle a person here immediately. And we can start exploring fives, which is fantastic. We only have five people. It's a little... Five ready people. Out of nine. We have to come up with a lot of oxygen. But that's what exploring is for. We can hit fives and... Fives as well as threes now, right? Um... So... Go here? Because we, we have a lot of exploring to do. And so every hydrogen that we get, mm, no. What I mean to say is we can turn hydrogen into oxygen efficiently, fairly efficiently. And therefore, our gas worlds are very valuable. We have a nice cluster of them right here as well. Um, I'm going to go over here. You, I mean, just like give me the hydrogen, please. Okay. Turns out... It might have been better to take the thing that was when you gain 8 hydrogen. Whatever. Have I done that now? I'm not actually sure. Um, I don't need more metal, really, so send you... We're not getting as much value out of Temple of Life as we would wish, because it's blocked, but obviously I want to keep exploring. We're getting maximum value out of Temple of Life. I wish I were getting more value out of exploring by this going off again, but I'm not going to give up on the value this turn just so that I can turn these explored tiles into more stuff next turn. Stuff now is way better than stuff later. I guess this one is the least exciting because it's easy to get to from here and it's hard to go... When you go, when you go onto this tile, you don't reveal a new space. Well, you, you, when you're exploring, you want to make sure you can keep walking towards new unexplored areas, right? Okay. There's still two people here, so I can make more people if I want. I don't think we need the medals. I could take a card or the oxygen. 
I think I can make use of all the oxygen I get right now. Now, there's no way for me to suddenly get three more military and explore this, right? I don't think so. We walk down here and explore this, and we kind of go through there, right? Unless we just, like, click on this. Um, which is not so crazy as it seems. We could have a new explorer pick up on this side, and this is like a nice thing to to cap off with, I think. Go for it. A star base. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I'm playing it right now. I'm glad I still have three. Put it here. Yeah. Because now, like, this wormhole has really opened things up even more. I get so much exploring for free now. Right? Now, instead of having to wander around through here, I can, like... Yeah, this still costs zero. Just wanted to double check. I can hit all of these for free. I can go back and hit this instead of having to do some weird nonsense. Oh my god. Okay. So that's fine. I mean, it's cards. Oh, I can even get this one for free by hopping up to the wormhole and back. That's kind of funny. And this, and oh my gosh, okay. So I have like unlimited oxygen right now. Sort of. I'm a little bit tempted. Like, what if I just played my Temple of Knowledge right here? I would only get one thing out of it, but that might be worth something. Okay, anyway, we're like taking a, more people on board right now, right? I, I can't imagine not doing that. Surely I can handle 12 people. It's only 24 oxygen, right? And how much free exploration am I getting out of my wormhole? Like, one, two, three more? Okay, that's 12. Maybe, maybe I am getting a little ambitious. But then I have six more hydrogen, and if I want, I could have four more from this. And, like, I can settle some people. Like, these guys could go settle right now if they wanted. One of them could, anyway. Why was I asking this question? It was to decide if I wanted to replace this, I think. This temple. Also, an underwater colony is not bad. I'll be putting that down somewhere this turn for sure. Maybe here? Because I do like settling. Maybe I like metal more, actually. Like, this this card is not that much better than an ordinary water world, really. When we can turn hydrogen into oxygen. Okay, let's, let's just explore some stuff. I don't think there's any compelling reason to put that off. So let's... Well, the main thing was, are these people going to make more people, I guess was the question. And I'm not sure about that yet. But exploring is still free, so let's do that. Fine. A lot of open space, not my fave. Aha! This is what we were looking for, a place to put the Temple of Knowledge. You know, it would be nice if we could get, like, three places next, get it to go, its effect to go off three times instead of two. But, you know, take what you can get. And also, it's going next to some open space, which might be flipped someday. So, that's another bonus. This actually costs hydrogen. But I think I'm very happy to spend it. 
because of the power of cards. Oh, I love it. All right, this would be our seventh military. Oh my God, more people. I don't know if that's... Well... Uh... I really need to do some math at some point, right? How much more of the map can I explore? Let's assume I get this four of hydrogen out of my dude here. Like, uh, I, I, I have plenty. Right, I can explore all of this stuff. Um, how many times am I gonna have to take a step that doesn't explore something? Oh, maybe one. I was hoping the answer would be zero, but I don't think it is. Because when I go here, I get only one of these two. And I go here and here. So I can, okay, if I leave one of these two unexplored, I can avoid ever being inefficient. I guess that's fine. Oh, I don't need this for anything, right? There's some more hydrogen for you. It's not like I'm ever gonna replace my star base. So that's a nice bonus. Is a deployment center good? I could hook it into the Starbase network by putting it like here or here, right? Probably here would be the choice. And then I could explore more of this area for free. Well, no, because it only moves off, not moves on. So I would save a little bit of hydrogen, but not a lot. But it would save me a bunch in the late game, too, when I want to uh, settle these two. Not even the late game, the mid game, when I want to, like, start settling people. This stuff would all become free. I think it would more than pay for itself. Ah, it does cost me military to put it there. I could put it here, but it's not that great. Because... Oh, also, hmm. the temple, like, hmm. thinking about what's hooked into the wormhole network, it matters where the people are coming from, right? People are not coming from my home world. They're coming from here and here and maybe someday here. So... I mean, but, but it's only one hop from here into the wormhole, right? Pay one, and then you're in free to here. So we get people from here to here in one turn if we made this a, few, uh, a deployment center, right? And that seems good, because we have... They'll want to settle here. I think it's probably good to play this. I should not discard it for a card. Oh, it doesn't take away military, by the way. It gives me some back. Now, if I put it, like, here, uh, it would add to my military. But I think it's more important to have it on the, the wormhole network. Because then I don't have to pay to get to it, as I would if I put it here. It's not as great to be able to, oh, you can get from here to here in one hop, sort of, right? This, this, I think, is the ideal place for a deployment center. Okay. So I think I keep exploring this. Gosh, more people? I think that might be too much. I'm looking at adding one, maybe two, three more people. 
would be 13, I would need 26 oxygen. I just like, I can't do it, man. Can I? My problem is I only have three ready people right now. And so my sources of oxygen include like what three, the actions three people can take and all the hydrogen I can convert. I can stand more people at the moment. I think I just have you go finish exploring. person and an oxygen. So that's a way better cloning if we're going to clone. It should be here. Can I handle like 11 or 12 people? I, I think so. Like if I have you do most of the exploring, then make some hydrogen as your last action. And I have you make some people and then move and like go settle or something. And then another person makes people and then does the rest of the exploring as his action. Then the number of people I have would only be 11. I'd need 22. I have nine. Oh, I have way more than enough. <laughs> I'm so scared of, like, making people, but I think it's fine? Like, this, this number looks so much less than 26, but I think if you do the math, you'll find we're, like, not in any danger. So give me a person. I'm not going to move all the way over here, but I am going to make one more person. I think that's manageable. Okay. Hydrogen is good. This is good. I don't know whether I want metal or settle, um, but they're both... I guess right now I don't have the metal. This we're playing just for hydrogen because we don't have any metal right now. I just noticed, I don't know if I mentioned it before, maybe I forgot because I noticed it a long time ago and I'm re-noticing. The Temple of Life is on the Wormhole Network. The people that I get can deploy all over the place for free next turn. Okay, that's great. Anyway, you... I mean, none of this stuff impacts what I need to do at the moment. Which I guess is, ah, I can continue to explore efficiently if I go like this. One, two, three, and then that's just enough to hit the hydrogen button. Yeah. And we have more here if we need it. Oh, he could even settle right here. Nice. Well, we don't want him to. We want him to go up there. Uh, I was going to say we should have this guy go here because it's tough for these guys to get there, whereas they can get here easily. But that's not true. These guys, this is going to become a deployment center. So they can actually go from here to here in zero steps, not one step. They're great at going here. And also here. So it doesn't really matter where this guy goes. Well, it does, because I want him to 
make hydrogen, right? And I haven't put down the, the fuel center yet for a reason. I think. Is there a reason? Maybe not. If, if this isn't the place I'm having him get his hydrogen from, if I'm having him get it here, then I guess I could put this down whenever I want and have you go explore like this tile for free, right? Let's do that then. So now you make a person. And check this tile out. Beautiful, isn't it? Ooh, more hydrogen. Okay. I hope I don't regret skipping out on these alien cloning centers. But we only need 26, right? We only need a score of 26. And I feel like we're going to smash that out of the park. Uh, the way things are going this game. Um... Right, someone needs to go get more hydrogen, but they can do that here. I guess it should be you, you're furthest away from anywhere good. You you can't get onto the wormhole network in one turn, whereas the other guys can. So go here. Is this Good? I don't know. Okay, a way station is kind of useless. My hydrogen is too valuable to me. Get out of here. Okay. I don't have metal right now, but someday in the future I could. Speaking of. I'm only just now noticing this, but this thing's insane. If it's free for me to put people onto this without having to spend any hydrogen, then this is just nuts. Okay, I like this card a lot. And so I guess this is what I'm going to discard for, well, one of these, I don't know. For metal. But I don't think we're doing that this turn, right? How am I doing? I need three more oxygen. Oh, a thing I'm noticing, by the way, is that my assumption that I could spend hydrogen to uh, <laughs> to um, get oxygen was untrue. We are out of unexplored spaces, and if I had just gained more hydrogen and tried to explore with it, I would have been embarrassed. Okay, good to know. Um, but we're obviously still in great shape. I might settle this guy. For example, if I just settled both of the people I have, I'd be happy. Oh, in fact, you're making a new person. There you go. And now, if I just settled both of these two, everything would be peachy keen. Is that what I want to do? I think there's better stuff to do, right? Like make more hydrogen? But you could settle, probably. Since you happen to be in a crummy place and not much else to do. Anything else I should do this turn with these cards? I don't... Well, I'm drawing four. I guess I should get rid of one. I don't think I need this. My existing water worlds are all fine. Hmm. This one kind of sucks. I'm getting to the point where, like, I need oxygen more than I need hydrogen, I think. Because of the wormhole network. And so keeping this might be nice. This is a really expensive settlement area. I think I can put this off till later. Okay, great. Now I have space in my hand for what I'm going to draw. I can settle you. And send you up here to get oxygen, hydrogen. Hydrogen. 
Oh no, I have to settle them both or else get oxygen out of you because I didn't... I didn't... I, 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 I made enough people that you have to produce enough oxygen to feed... I, I hit usability! Oh my god. I wanted to not do that. Okay, well, we're gonna lose a person. Whoops. Unless there's a way to get three oxygen right now? I don't think there is. Oh well. What am I doing? You- well, okay. Ugh. All right, I threw away an, uh, a hydrogen as well. I got confused. And thought, uh, doesn't matter what I thought. It was stupid. Um, go in here, I guess. Well, actually, I guess I can just blow up this alien ruins. I like metal. I like putting myself in the position where I need oxygen, even though I don't really want to get any. Okay, fine. All right, I mean, you might even pretend that was the turn I wanted to take, but it wasn't. I can fit four cards. Gain three people. Well, that is easy, but so is... Gain four metal. And I kind of actually do want... The extra two military. Eh, no. The military settlement is a better way to get it. So I'll take the game people. Well, but I don't want this card at all. This card, like, it's better than the Temple of Life now that I've run out of places to explore, I think? Or it will be by the time I've explored these two, which is going to be any second now. I mean, four metal is not hard to come by, but right now I don't really want it. And this ability is pretty bad. I think I'll take this. Just like, it doesn't really matter what the card is. It's just like the goal is draw a, a card, which is worth a resource of some kind. Okay, first things first, I need that hydrogen. <laughs> You are being placed somewhere. Here? No, because I want to at least explore these two this turn and get people for them. Not here. That's going to be my, my industrial mine. Here? That's not bad. This water world? Oh, this could be useful. Okay, we put it here. And these guys are gonna go explore this. So, hop for free, hop for free, hop for free, ta-da! Um, and then likewise over here. Except that this hop won't be free. Should you go? I don't think so. You want to do your thing, right? Careful. Gotta empty your hand first. Um, I don't think I want this. I need all this hydrogen, don't I? Well, okay, let's play the industrial mine first, because we definitely want to do that. This card is gross. Now I can afford to draw. 
And I still won't have triggered this goal, so there's no question of accidentally overdrawing. Genesis vats, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's a way for people to be net positive. There's something to be said for that. I already have that here, but... That assumes we can turn hydrogen into oxygen, which we no longer can. We're suddenly turning into an oxygen-driven society. Uh, we just have to send everyone into their, their shelters immediately, basically. Um, fortunately, there's lots over here. Yeah, I mean, in fact, I assume I should just do this, right? No? That would cost you hydrogen if you go the long way. It's free. Ta-da! Okay. Now, I should... have not done that. <laughs> Um, because now I can't so easily get three people here, right? I guess I can. You guys can hop over. You're still on the network. Um, I don't really need the metal right now, though, and it seems like I'll be able to get it in the future, too. I do have to actually come up with a lot of oxygen right now. Okay, you, you, you go settle before I make a mistake and have you not settle. God, there's so many people to feed. Uh... This honestly should have been a two-part video. Oh, that's good. I looked over at my timer and I... Uh, uh, you know the the like the software to see how long I've been recording, and I thought a while ago it had said like an hour fifteen, and I was like, oh my god! But no, we're not even quite at an hour yet. Okay. Um. Well, we probably should do this, but first I want to empty my hand a bit, and I don't think I need this watchful hermit for much. Huh. Uh, I can't put an asteroid refinery here anymore. If I could, it would be worth three. Um, there's really... I mean, I could put it here and have it be worth three, I guess? Hmm. I've already got, like, an easy way to get three metal, though. That's on the wormhole network, which is very valuable. So I don't think I need this. Of course, discarding it just gives me a card, but... I still think I get rid of it. Science facility? These are okay. They give you metal and cards. I think I want a Genesis Vat, and I guess I'll put it here. Having people spawn in the wormhole network is desirable. Well. Let's... Do I get rid of this? Is it possible I would want, like, people production? I don't think so. I think I have enough people. And lots of ways to get more cheaply. What I could do is replace the Temple of Life with something. Like, I don't know, bubble pods or whatever? do that. I know it's going down next to a bunch of settlements, but that's fine. We're going to want a lot of settlements. There. So, yes, bubble pods here. I desire this. Good. 
Do I need more metal? Not at the moment. I think I want more people. <laughs> Oof, a little spooky. Uh, let's, mm, well, mm. I probably want the card and the hydrogen here. Okay, I mean, it's not amazing. Probably bad, in fact, but it's got metal on it, so... Never sad to draw metal. I just, I don't need this. Get out of here. It would have been nice if they could have been spawning on the wormhole network, I guess. I could have put it here, but I think I need the hydrogen. Um. You guys need something to do. Maybe just go settle? No one else is particularly good at getting here. So... What's occurring to me is like there's some math going on, right? Right now I have 11 total people, seven of whom are ready. And if I dump every one of those ready people into a settlement, that leaves me with four people who have already been activated this turn and who need to be fed. But we're only at five oxygen. So I need to do three oxygen better than two per person. And that's not so easy. Um, discarding these oxygen cards in hand would help. Uh, as would playing them. Because they give you oxygen. But I can't just like start clicking on stuff to get more people. I'm like pretty much at the limit for what I can support this turn. Unless I want to do something sad like pop the alien ruins, which I'd rather not. Um. Wait. Have Genesis Vats always said free moves off of this sector? Huh? I had no idea. Um. Wow. I guess I must have forgotten that. Huh. Well, clearly I want to connect those up somehow. All three of these uh, locations are somewhat desirable. This one actually not so much. Nobody wants to come down to the south of the world for any reason. Here is on the network and would let me get to like there for free, for example. So that we can start migrating late game or here for free if just to fill these up this one we can already get to for free so this would basically be like letting me get to specifically this tile for free it would save me four or five hydrogen over the course of the game in addition to being just like a nice thing to build here um So, if I settled everyone that I could, I'd have four people left. I need three extra oxygen. And the most oxygen I can get from a single person would be like four here, right? I'm looking at this mutation range and I'm saying, wouldn't that be a nice place for a processing facility? I don't really need to create more people out of this anymore. And it would be on the wormhole network, meaning it's easy to relocate them up here when I need more metal to feed them, and down here when I don't. I think that's gotta be the play. And if I do that... 
then I actually can afford a few more people, right? None of the people here have moved at all. So I could make a person here and then still tap the processing facility for oxygen twice. That would put me at nine. And I would demand just the tiniest bit of additional oxygen. Which I could get from... Gosh, not really any good places to put a science facility, is, are there? Not if we're turning that water world into a Genesis Vats. Well, what's this one going to be then? Right, we were talking about making either a bridge to here or a bridge to here. I mean, the savings for this is relatively limited. I think I should put the Genesis Vats here. Well, in another sense, though, the Genesis Vats are more valuable here. Um, because they turn this into a two-way communication system instead of one. Because, like, right now, you will go from here to here, you can't get back cheaply. With this way, you could. But does that matter? Who wants to go back this way? Nobody, right? Maybe this one guy. I mean, whoever comes out of these... Well, this water world already can make people, I guess, is another point. So if I'm going to add another way to make people, maybe it should be in the Genesis Vats up here. I think this is the... this wins. It goes here. No, but then where am I? Oh, right. The science facility is going here. Okay. Let's do these things before I get caught up in more analysis paralysis. I have to decide how many more people to make, though, still. And if I'm making people, here is a good place to do it. But if I'm turning this into a processing facility, then the actions taken here are in some sense precious. And I might prefer, in fact, to play a processing facility. Well, no, because one of them, I should make a person here because I don't want to pay to move anybody here, right? These guys don't want to come down. They've got other stuff to do, right? Well, no, they might, they could come down, right? Do I need any more metal this turn? I'm playing the science facility and tapping this three times, I kind of do. So maybe before I do any funny business, I should click this. Just once is enough. I keep thinking these guys aren't on the wormhole network because going here, here. But, like, that's stupid. They can go here, here, and that's why it works. Anyway, so you go here, right? Now. Oh, I have to be even more efficient because I just had someone do something that doesn't produce any oxygen at all. So now if I had everybody settle, I'd have five people left, and I would need ten oxygen for them. So I need five more than that. And even two people using a, a processing facility would not be that efficient. I think it has to be three, which means I can't make a person here. Well, I could. This Someone could make three oxygen at a science facility. Oh, this... this... But making a person here is less efficient than making two oxygen by three. 
because instead of netting two, you're minus one. So I don't think I can make any people here. I think I need to play the processing facility now. Okay. And I think I need even more than that to have several people actually go here. Like to bring another person in. So now, what happens if I take my four people and I send them away? I still need one more oxygen. Um, so I think I bring you into the fold. Now how are we doing? I still need like five more, which I could accomplish, which I could achieve by sending all three of my remaining people to a settlement. Can I do better? Well, yeah. If I sent people to the Genesis Vats, they would be better, right? Well, not exactly. I want a useful way for a person to make two ox make one oxygen, right? And I guess that's Getting someone to stand here with you? Basically? To draw a card? Or I could dump the science facility or any number of other things, I suppose. What are you doing? It's gonna go crawl into a hole, I guess. I think I want one person to do this before the other one goes to sleep. So I think I think I did things somewhat inefficiently here somehow. I'm not sure of the details. I could have more hydrogen left. Now I have one active person, and if they go take a nap, we'll be good. I have to figure out what to do with all this stuff. Honestly, a warrior commune or a hunting colony are probably better than these things. Oh, this has military as well, which is nice. Yeah. It's like, yeah, this can make people, but... I can't really support that many more people. Well, I can, because I just settled a bunch of people, and we're going to settle one more in a sec. Do you... Go settle here? I don't know. They're all on the big network. It doesn't really matter, right? I'm producing four cards, so I should discard or play two of them. I don't need the Watchful Hermit for anything. The Underwater Colony is probably good. Ah, uh, I should have put it here and let that guy go there instead of here. Could have saved some hydrogen, I think. Eh, it's hydrogen I would have had to spend anyway when I go to the, settle this place, which I assume I would do. Uh, maybe the science facility can be played, but where? Question mark. Here is kind of nice because it is on the... on the network. Just like, I don't know. Give me a hunting colony somewhere. Here. 
But this is the closest way I have to make people, right? Underwater colony... Here. This is a totally fine place for it. I don't need the dentist. Oh no, but I like being able to move! Here, then. Sure, that's better than this water world. Okay, finally done with turn three. Moving on. And we're like, we're rolling in money now. I have to get some more hydrogen. Okay, a fuel depot. I don't want this. We said this already. Making people, it's, it's too late for that. We like metropolises, I think. You guys, I think, can just go settle. There's no real reason for you to do anything else. No. I mean, you're on the network right now. You could help this guy out, for example, with making more metal. We could replace this gas world with a fuel depot. That's fine. Just to produce more oxygen. I think we can afford to make people just by discarding the waste station. I don't really want to turn hydrogen into people. Yeah, make, make people, please. Too late for a Temple of Life. Why did I get a card? Did I meet my goal? Did I not make enough people last turn to get a new goal? I guess I didn't. And just discarding that person finally gave it to me. Funny. Okay. Well, this is not worth anything. Bubble pods are fine. Okay, um, I mean, this turn we basically just need, like, to settle and gain oxygen. Er, hydrogen. And I guess probably some metal, because these guys gonna, are gonna want to go nuts. Yeah, this turn I can build, like, all the people I can imagine, right? Like, you... well... I mean, we seem to need some metal, right? I want to build some things, and I want to use this a bunch. So, let's start... by clicking that once. Do I click it twice? I don't know if I need that much metal right at this moment. Let's think for a minute about how efficient this combined with this is. At a mining industrial mine, I can make three metal for one person's action. At a processing center, I can turn three metal into, let's say, six hydrogen and eight oxygen. So, for four people's actions, I gain 14 materials total. About half and half divided between oxygen and hydrogen. That's not the best for hydrogen, right? A gas world is more efficient at four, four per action, whereas we're getting um, you know, three and a half per action. But it's way better than you usually get for oxygen. So I think this is a quite valuable thing to do. And if I can like place another one of these on the network, I should do so. Um, at the moment, it's not clear that I can. There's not really any more worlds to replace unless I want to get rid of the Genesis fats, which I... I guess I kind of can. I feel bad because I just played them and I haven't used them at all. But I actually am not going to need to get to these habitats all game. We have plenty of cards in hand to play all the settling stuff we need, right? Well, seven, yeah. Yeah, I do. 
I have eight settling in hand, which is what I need to get me up to 26. So this, this was a mistake. I shouldn't have played this. I thought it would be cool to go here, but it's not. Okay, anyway, I can play this, and it, like, nets me two hydrogen over the course of the game, and that seems totally fine. Nothing amazing, but it gets something out of my hand so that I can do this. Underwater colony? I, I don't think there's a place for it. I guess this water world is worse than an underwater colony. I can do that. Or this one? That's already an underwater colony. So, do we want a, another processing facility, and if so, where? Here is where I said it would be, right? But the thing is, pretty much everything wants to be on the wormhole network, and not everything gets to be. And I don't know what's the most valuable to put there. You know, it honestly seems like the, the science facility is just not doing it for me. I could discard it. I don't need the oxygen, but all right. Let's let's get some hydrogen. We like hydrogen. You, I think, are making a person. We're great at people. We have so much oxygen. It's disgusting. I still have seven ready people. So, for example, I could just settle all seven of them. And I would be handling my oxygen requirements. Of course there are better things to do than that, but that's kind of like a lower bound on how good my turn can be. I think... I mean, I'm, I might not need the hydrogen from this. In some sense, it's the most efficient thing you can do with this. But on the other, like, four oxygen is kind of better than a hydrogen, than six hydrogen, right? It's just, it's harder to come by. We have a lot of stuff that gives us large amounts of hydrogen, or, like, hydrogen combined with something else. We don't have anything that gives you four oxygen. And this, like, keeps you alive, and hey, you get some hydrogen, right? So I think I'll just click this three times. There you go. That simplifies some of my decisions. I'm sure it was wrong. You know, for example, now I have more people, like, it's really easy to fit more people. And what if I had these people move over here? Wouldn't that be nice? I don't know. This is just as close. So. If one of them had wanted to go here, for example, I maybe should have done that and then brought someone else down here. Uh... I don't know that I really need another processing facility. Putting it here is cute. I don't know that it's so great. And I do like the Dennis's Vats, kind of. Someone went here already. Yeah, okay. I could just go settle this guy. He has a free move to here. Or actually, maybe he should come down here and make a bunch of clones of himself. We have a lot more oxygen than we need after having triple clicked this. Mm. Yeah, maybe that is a reason to put down another cloning facility or er, processing facility. Is to get let this guy get away with making a bunch of clones. So if I put it here, then these guys could come in and 
grab even more oxygen off of it. I want to, I think I want one more metal click on this thing. There you go. And then these two are going to make oxygen for as many clones as this guy can manage, having made eight more oxygen. Which is to say, we would have 30 oxygen, we can support 15 people. 16, I guess, because one of them can be here. Actually, I have enough oxygen... I have enough hydrogen. A bunch of these guys could be made and then... No. Only one of the... Every time you make a clone, they don't get to act till next turn. So only one of them can do an action besides making a clone. Which should be to go settle, right? Let's say here. This is the least convenient place to get to. So... If there are going to be a total of 15 people after one of them has gone to settle. Then there should be 16, which means he should make four clones. Which means click twice here, click twice here, right? Okay, let's make the oxygen first. So, clone here, clone here, clone here. And now if you clone here, you don't have the oxygen to support your people, but that's okay because you're about to get some back. I guess we could also do that. Get hydrogen instead of oxygen, but no, I want the oxygen, so settle. Oh, I've got all this shit. I was supposed to build some of it. Um, I guess this is the important one to build because it has production. Bubble pods. Oh, any world, including gas worlds, huh? Not really anywhere very great to put it. Maybe here on top of this rock world. Doesn't increase my settling capacity by as much, but it's still good. And give me some hydrogen. I don't need this, get out of here. I don't want the oxygen now though. Okay, so upgrade three planets to get a jungle world. The Temple of Discovery, I think, is the clear winner here. I don't need the Temple of Might, and I probably could get three people with all these clones. Like, I certainly could. I don't know if I would want to. But this I definitely do want. It's, like, kind of giving me five oxygen. Maybe, maybe more, because I can choose to blow up this world to make it open space again. Okay, upgrade some worlds. So that means like building a metropolis, right? Or a fuel depot on this gas world? Yes, let's do that. One. I don't really want this at all. I don't really want this either. I don't think I need this, but hydrogen is kind of meh as a reward, so I'm not that excited to discard it. Metropolis. I want to put that somewhere like here eventually, but it doesn't have to be now. Mm. 
obviously this turn we want to settle a lot of people. But that's kind of true every turn, right? After the early game, anyway. I have 15 people. I'm going to need a lot of oxygen, which means I need a lot of metal. Okay, you, please make a person. I'm gonna just click this one twice and this one once or something? I don't know. That's probably enough. Is there anywhere I can put this hunting colony that doesn't suck? Well, I'm about... Mm, I mean, no. I can cover this jungle world. It's like fine. It makes people, but not very efficiently, and we're gonna cover it with this in a minute anyway, right? So I could just play this twice. And it gives me this, which is worth a bunch of oxygen. I still want to play the Metropolis, but I feel like I don't want to play it until later. So to upgrade the planets, I think I just play a hunting colony. I basically, is it really worth it to just play these two cards to get this, to play it, to unexplore five open spaces? I mean, I get to re-explore most of them for free. Six open spaces, because I want to blow this up first. So... I assume I can't be standing in the open space when it's... re-hidden? Oh yeah, how is that going to work? Because I'm going to be, when I, when I knock this out. I don't know. Let's try it and see. I made way more oxygen than I need, I think. Yeah, they, they really they really do be just hanging out there, huh? Okay. More alien ruins. Well, <laughs> ain't that a thing, huh? Um, actually, go back there. Okay. Pretty cool. Time for more clones? And then go hide? You guys? I don't know. Go check this out? <laughs> Somebody's gotta do it. I guess we'll blow up some more alien ruins? Since we're standing here anyway? I'm now, like, kind of starting to wish that I had, uh... left this as Genesis Vats so I could go up here more easily. you, in fact, go up there to start making settlements for everyone. And you, you do the same. I 
I guess you're gonna need to make me some hydrogen. You're gonna go settle. I have four people left. I need to come up with one oxygen? That shouldn't be a problem. I still haven't explored this. Hey, cloning! And then go in here. Now I still need to come with two oxygen, no problem, of course. I think I'll just settle someone. Have the other guy make more settlements or something? settle somewhere. I don't really need all this oxygen. And I can't get hydrogen. I could go here for hydrogen, I guess. Yeah, let's figure we're going to need a lot of hydrogen next turn. And you, my very last person, will need to settle yourself. I have space for all my cards. It's all very lovely. Does any of this matter? Settle two people, we're certainly going to do it. Unexplore all open space is kind of funny. But I don't think it's that good right now. Like, we don't need the oxygen, obviously. But, you know, some of these open space tiles might have, like, alien ruins under them, which could be useful. But I don't think they actually will be. So just give me this. It's something I'm obviously going to do. And it's going to give me a card. Making more people doesn't do anything, so we can skip that. We just want to settle everyone who, who we can cheaply settle. I don't see any reason not to. Goal achieved. My hand is over full. I don't... Oh, actually, that's... That could be worth a lot of hydrogen. It could get people into here for free and here. I guess that's it. Only saving one hydrogen. <laughs> I could just discard it for the same effect. Yeah, everything else is kind of already covered. Here, I guess, if I made this uh, a metropolis or something. Where am I putting the metropolis? Here seems pretty clear. Let's just do that. Don't need this for anything. Also don't need the oxygen. But I kind of need the hand space, I guess, maybe? Starbase? I don't want to spend three metal on this. Get out of here. This sucks. I don't need this for any reason at all. This, eh, movement. Too bad I got rid of all my blue spaces already. <laughs> uh, yeah, the only place I could legally put it would be here, and it just doesn't do anything on this square. It saves me one hydrogen getting to there. Uh, 
Okay. Um, let's bring you guys up here. Oh, here. Well, you can reach both, right? You guys can only efficiently get to here. So go there. Oh, I could put, I could put Genesis Vats here. I didn't notice that. That would let these guys onto this network a little more efficiently. It would only cost them one to get onto the network instead of. E? No, two, because they can get here and then they can jump onto this for free. So it saved me a couple hydrogen getting these guys in, but that's not worth much. I mean, keep in mind, I just have to settle like 11 more people. I, I, it like, doesn't matter what I do. Right? I just have to make sure I have enough hydrogen, and like seven is obviously enough, isn't it? Um. I have 12 more people, I have to settle 7 of them. This is not useful. This is not useful. Neither is the oxygen, whatever. This could help. Either to play or to discard. This could be a good play. Somewhere. Not sure where. I have this metropolis here, we should put people in it. And then I just need to settle two more, which... Here and here? One, two, three... Yeah, there's enough people on the wormhole network to just finish settling that metropolis. So we'll just... We'll just cash this in and go home. Ta-da! We win! Could have gotten more than 26, but like only 5 more or so. Could have gotten like 31, I think, the way this was played. The Yanni. The Yan. The monk-like yawn resemble ornately dressed mantid. mantids. They look like mantids. They excel at balance and control. Who knows what that means? All right, here it is. Amaloy on the top ten. Number eight. Incredible. And I feel like I could have come, like, I could have made it to fourth. But the point of these is, like, of course, you have to be able to do this consistently. But I've done it in three games in a row now. I'm counting my normal game because I accidentally played it as, as an expert game. <laughs> by gathering twice as much oxygen as I needed and then letting the lizards dump it all down the toilet. Maybe they just got high. Well, we'll say they had a very, very pleasant life. Uh, pleasure Center is very active. All right, well, that was cool. I think next game we're gonna try these yawn dudes. I might check them out off camera, maybe not. I probably won't. It's more fun to watch me do it on camera, right? Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.